once again as the MGM crime reporter, it is my privilege to bring to you another episode in our Crime Does Not Pay series. For obvious reasons, fictitious names are used for all characters. May I introduce Mr. Arthur A. Sears, United States Attorney in the Federal District Court. Few people realize that the activity of foreign spies in this country has increased several thousand percent in the last few months. To prevent theft of important and secret manufacturing processes, and to forestall possible sabotage of the nation's defense machinery, every large industry has been compelled to mobilize elaborate systems of protection at an aggregate cost of millions of dollars a month. Today, in steel mills, rubber factories, mines and smelters, railroad shops, automobile factories, munition plants, and particularly in aviation, virtually all operations are being conducted on the basis of wartime secrecy. As we examine this costly emergency in a nation whose sole intention is to remain at peace in a troubled world, we're brought face to face with a deplorable situation. Foreign agents frankly admit that practically all of their efforts would come to nothing but for one thing, inside cooperation. Well, that's it. Where's yours? In the ship. Well, I'll get it for you. Never mind, I'll pick it up myself. And save me a spot outside, will you? You betcha. How do they look, Claus? Pretty good. These up here are a little too dark, but I can use this, and this, and this. Three, huh? Yeah. You always go for those blueprints, don't you? <laughs> well, come on, get it up. Pretty good, my friend, eh? For a few minutes' work. It's more than you make in a week working for Barton. Yeah. Well, I'll get you some more film. What do you want next? I've just about covered the C-50. In a couple of days, they'll probably put us on those new single-seaters for the Navy. Do you want something on them? Definitely. But first, I want something else. What? This new bomb site your engineers have been working on. Are you kidding? Kidding? What for? I can't get anything on that. They're still working on the design. All right, then get a picture of the drawings. What business have I got in the drafting department? You want me to get canned? Well, you have to take some chances. Now, look, boss. I want you to get this straight. I'm not sticking my neck out. All this means to me is a little nest egg. When you start pushing, I'm through. I see. Well, maybe I better get somebody else. Look, boss. On this new gadget you're so hot for, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll keep my ear to the ground. And if I get a chance to help without getting my fingers burned, Maybe we'll talk business. Is that okay? Perfectly. Good night. Good night. Send these through Miami and this by way of Frisco. No, uh, make a Seattle. Airmail. How's the art department coming? Wrap them. Take your time, Nick. They got to be right. Any rush on this? Not bad. The old man is right on the job. 
He didn't send us anything on the bomb site. Maybe there is no such animal. Barton's application went through the patent office. It'll give Claus another day or two, and if nothing comes, we'll have to go out there ourselves. It's about time we get out of here anyhow. Where does this go to? Hoffman. His boat sails Friday. Fifteen six, fifteen eight. Hoffman? Yes, sir. Which bunk is yours? Hoffman. The idea. What's he looking for? Bed bug. Tell me what you want. I'll get it for you. Let me have your glass. You're under arrest. Put your coat on. You two, both of you. Come on. Now, wait a minute. Take it easy. We're not in on this. If we're pinched, I want to know what for. You've finally broken the ice, Porter. Did you get something you can hold him on, sir? When they get through in the lab, we'll have plenty. I'll have you turned loose for lack of evidence. Get back to the ship right away. Hoffman may not have been working alone, so keep your eyes open. Yes, sir. That's a panel board of our new C-50. I can hardly believe it. Whoever made these must have been in our plant no longer than a week ago. Could anybody get away with extra copies of your blueprints? Not a chance. This is hand-drawn with chemical ink. Look at the pen scratches. What's to prevent one of your own men from bringing a camera into the plant, Mr. Barton? Nothing, I guess. We spot watchmen all around. But we can't very well frisk 5,000 men. Well, here's one bunch that won't get to Europe. We'll have to do better than that. Yours isn't the only plant with a leak in it. What about this new bomb site? They'll be after that next. We're testing a working model for the government next week. I'd feel a lot easier if you could have somebody there. All right. You started on this, Carmichael. Maybe you and Burns better follow through. You can call on our Portland office for any help you need. Yes, sir. Check your altitude. Target all clear. All set. Let him go. Feet. As far as we're concerned, you can start production tomorrow. We'll wire Washington tonight. Thank you, Colonel. Any foreign agent would give his right arm to get this. Give us your altitude again. Got it. All ready for test five. That's enough for me. Me too. Let's get busy. Springer. What's up? Wait here. Jones. Barnsdale. Briggs. Stanton. Brown. Miller. Dave Miller. Yeah? You too, George. What's going on? There's a meeting upstairs. Mr. Barton's office. Barton? What for? 
He'll tell you that himself. Come on. We're picking you men to work on the bomb site because we believe you're dependable. I know you're not in the habit of talking outside the plant, but besides being a government contract, this is probably the most important job we've ever had. We ask you to be particularly careful. Don't discuss your work outside, even between yourselves. Not even at home. I know we can count on you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, that's all. Yes. Department D is pretty cluttered up, Mr. Barton. They're after wonder, aren't they, being put to work in an old storeroom? Not if you explain it's only temporary. Clean it up as well as you can, and have some workbenches installed. I'll check it over before I leave tonight. Yes, sir. I almost hope we're making a mistake. Those men have been with me for years. Nobody else had access to the C-50, Mr. Barton, and that's where the drawings came from. The quickest way to find out who's bringing Camry into your plant is to give him a good chance to use it. Come on, Cap. My car's over here. Get him our day. Go on. Hi, boss. How's it going? Get in. What's on your chest? Nothing. I just thought maybe we could talk a little business. Oh, yeah? Who gave you the tip? What tip? I didn't get any tip. No? You come up with some awful funny ideas for a guy that never gets around. Drive around the block. It was nothing. He has a camera, and by this time tomorrow we have pictures of the whole thing. Blueprints and all. They dropped it right in his lap. Well, what's the matter? Who ever heard of putting shop man to work on a delicate optical instrument? It's a trap. Well, I better stop him. No. We can't afford to let him get caught. He'll drag us into it. They've got to let him take pictures, haven't they? Otherwise, all they can do is fire him. What good is that? He'll never get out of the plant with them. I'm not too sure. Hiya, Sprout. Hello, Dave. Hiya, honey. Remember me? What do you got for dinner? Dave, I think you're mean. Say something. He's been waiting all day just to show it to you. Oh, he's only fooling, Bill. Sure, it looks swell. When's it come? This morning. Look, here's my badge. I'm only a tenderfoot to start with, but pretty soon I'll be a second-class scout, and then a first-class. That's the stuff. Why, I might even get to be an Eagle Scout. What do you mean, might? You've got just as good a chance as anybody else. Hello? Yes. Who are you? Hello? Oh, hello, Clark. Now? Well, not very well. I understand. Now, can you drop in tomorrow morning, then, on the way to the plant? It's important. Okay. What did he want? Nothing much. I can't help it if he calls me up, can I? What do you want me to do, insult the guy? Dave, don't get mixed up in something you'll be sorry for. Lay off, lay off, will you? I'm not getting mixed up in anything. Say, look what I found in Dad's lunchbox. Give me that. See if you can't learn to keep your nose out of other people's business. Dave! We'll run out and play. But, Mother... Go on, now. Where did you get that camera? Well, it's loaned it to me. What's wrong in borrowing a camera? I just wanted to take a couple of snapshots of you and the kid, that's all. I didn't mean to hit the kid, but he's got to learn to leave his hands off things that don't belong to him. This is worth about a hundred bucks. I want you to take it back. I mean it. What for? I don't want it in the house. Okay, okay, I'll take it back. Well, do it. Right now. Are you crazy? I'll take it back the first thing in the morning. I'm sorry you had trouble with your wife, but I had to know what your plan was. This is important. I don't want you to slip. I haven't slipped yet, have I? You just have the dough here, that's all. I'll look out for my end. And if you can't stop calling me up at the house and getting Mary on the warpath, I'm proof it keeps. A 
I guess you heard it. He'll get the pictures right after noon whistle, when the other men go out to eat. That's fine. Now finish your packing and don't leave anything around you can trace us by. Everything depends upon perfect time. Here's that they'll be waiting for him to come out. All right. Now, if we block this door here, nobody can get in. And Dave will be forced to come out through this window here. Second from the corner. That's it. Sign this, please. Coming? No, you go ahead. I'll be out later. Okay. Places in the corridor. Watch every move he makes, but give him plenty of elbow room. Let him leave the plant if he wants to. We'll see where he goes. Where was that? Come on. Drop it. Come on, drop it. Give me that camera. Where's the camera? How did you get here? Come on, let's have it. What is this? Never mind. Turn it loose. Hey, wait a minute. You've got to get me out of here. You stay where you are. Put up your hands, all of you. took a few snapshots, sure. But that's all I did. If I didn't do it, somebody else would. You can't make a spy out of me for that. You don't seem to realize this is serious. Taking a few snapshots, as you call it, is apt to cost you 20 of the best years of your life. If you and a few others don't appreciate what this country stands for in a world gone mad with oppression and conquest, the rest of us do. Any man who puts a few dollars above the future security of the United States of America is headed straight for the federal penitentiary. This is a great country to live in, and we intend to keep it that way. 